дорогой друг, начиная со второго июля, в течение месяца до самого саммита, каждый день апостол Владимир Владимир Монтян и Виктория Монтян будут преподавать уроки за исцеление от конкретных болезней и разрушение проклятий. Каждый человек, кто принимал участие в предыдущем саммите и кто зарегистрирован на саммит, который состоится с 30 июня по 1 августа, будет получать от апостола Владимира и Виктория Мишна урок и молитву. Каждый день будет произноситься молитва за конкретные болезни и освобождение от различных демонических духов. The schedule of prayers and lessons you may find on the official web pages of Apostle and Victoria on Facebook, Instagram, and Telegram. July is the month of preparation for the summit, the month of prayers and lessons, the month of Apostle and Victoria's dedication to people. This month will be the month of the birth of the new life of millions of people. Dear friends, welcome to the preparation for the four dimensions. Every day we are approaching a great event. There will be an apogee of something special in your life. There will be changes that your heart is waiting for. Hallelujah! Glory to our God! Glory to our Savior for giving us this chance. Today, when we talk about the four dimension. We have to remember that the power of God is real. The power of God moves, and the Holy Spirit, which is a person, is now on this earth. This is God who walks on this earth. This is God who creates, who creates, who is always in action. You have to know the nature of God. In this lesson, I want to say the first thing. The nature of God, He always creates. He always does His job. What can I do to make Him move in my life? Friends, we need to start fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Last lesson, I was sharing some secrets of how the Holy Spirit moves. You should know that God does not perform a single miracle in our life without passing through our thoughts, through our faith. You should know that the Lord, He has more to do with our thoughts than with our spirit and our faith. Because it is in the thoughts that the most beautiful and the best is born. Today in your life you have to see that God works miracles through you. Therefore, fellowship with Him should be filled with thoughts. In other words, God meets a person on the territory of his dream, on the territory of a person's dream. Hallelujah, anointing comes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, I ask you to perform your work. Speak into everyone's heart. Hallelujah, right now. I ask you, friends, the anointing has just come. Stay with me now. I want to guide you in this prayer. This moment, kind of stop in your thoughts. Let all distractions be gone now. All that does not matter. Start thinking. Start dreaming. Your dreams are important to God. I would say they're like uh, the canal through which the Holy Spirit can enter your mind, enter your subconscious, enter your spirit. And according to your dream, He can perform the greatest miracle. He enters the circumstances of your life, and He goes where there was no access, like the darkness was there because you could give access to the devil through your thoughts through your fear. Fear is your personal enemy that you have to drive out of your life. Fear it ties you in a chain. Fear does bad things. You know that fear it controls a person so much that a person under fear, under this demon, under this feeling, he chooses something wrong in his life. He makes a decision and he goes somewhere to the side instead of to go straight, because fear wants to take control of you. The demons of fear are the most common demons. Demons live in groups. 
There are no people on earth who are not attacked by demons. Darkness has covered the earth. The world lies in evil and doors open. And these doors, you know, like a legal right to enter a person's life. This is a fortune telling, superstition, occultism, spiritism, and the covenant with the devil. There are different forms of worshiping the devil. There are direct and indirect worshiping. But I want to tell you, fear is present in every group that dwells in a person. A curse is like a cage. You know, there are demons inside a person and there are demons outside a person. Fear can come, can control a person and can visit a person. Now when I talk about it, the Holy Spirit is working on you to show you what your fear is. Scripture says, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound of mind. You should know this. The Apostle Paul says these words to Timothy, that God has not given us a spirit of fear. No fear. Say it now. I renounce the spirit of fear. I renounce the spirit of fear. The name of Jesus Christ. And I receive from the Holy Spirit His grace. His grace. His grace is love and power and sound of mind. Sound mind means wisdom. It means a clear mind. Today I want to say to everyone, the Holy Spirit begins to move in your life as soon as fear leaves. Fear is control. The Holy Spirit wants to bless your life, but He can't do it by Himself. You have to stand under His control. That's why the scripture says in Ephesians 5.18, And do not be drunk with wine which is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit. When a person is drunk, he is under the influence of alcohol. But when a person is filled with the Holy Spirit, this is how it is compared. When you make a choice, you take and perform with alcohol, you know what you're doing? This moment you can fall into debauchery, but there is a choice to refuse this. And every person should be holy. He should not strive for alcohol, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. This is a deliberate choice. Be filled with the Holy Spirit and its power. So when you are controlled by the Holy Spirit, and then power is flowing through you, love and a sound mind. From alcohol, no clear mind. From the Holy Spirit, healthy mind. Why Paul compares these things? Because he says that person has a choice. And today, you can be controlled by the Holy Spirit. You thought it depends on the Holy Spirit only. But no. The Holy Spirit says you start to fellowship with me and be filled with the strength and love of a Father. Be filled with His grace. Be filled. Let your heart be changed today. The nature of God, the nature of God, He is always in action. He always does something new. You know, when you are controlled by fear, you don't let God create. Every time you are afraid of something, you don't let God to act in your life. Dear friends, why does fear control people? Because He makes people see images of defeat. He makes people see images of evil, some kind of a bad circumstances, some kind of a failure. When you begin to realize this, the creation process never stops. The fourth dimension, it works regardless of whether a person is aware of it or not. All people on earth who do not know about the fourth dimension and that the spirit world works through thoughts in our head, they unconsciously create a future that unconsciously brings pain, suffering. Maybe you are in the midst of suffering, and you are in the midst of the circumstances that you fear. Job says in the book of Job, for the thing I greatly feared has come upon me, and what I dreaded 
has it happened to me? Why is this happening? People say I was so afraid of it and it happened. Right now, I want to help you to be free from those circumstances that have to happen in your life because of the fact that you were free. Now renounce the spirit of fear and receive the spirit of power, love and sound mind. Hallelujah. Now this moment, draw an image of victory in that situation where you have fear. Think about it. What are you afraid of? What do you worry about? I'm leading you in this prayer right now, right this moment. Me and you, we are together. If two agree to ask for any matter on this earth, wherever they ask, it will be given from Heavenly Father. Right now, this minute, think about what do you want? where you have fear. Think about how you want this situation to resolve. Think that whatever you're afraid of, it will never happen. That thing you worry about, you actually waste your time worrying about it. Because everything will be fine. Imagine how everything will be good. Imagine how it is happening now, how everything has happened already. And you live in this answer. Let's just be in this answer now. Just remain in it. And just thank God about it. God, I'm walking now in the middle of my answer. I'm walking now on the territory of victory. You have to know that imagination is where you go beyond time boundaries. You go beyond the boundaries of your body. The Spirit moves you by your images, and right now you're walking there. Look at the details. Look at the details. Look at the details. Look at the details. What are you feeling? Look at the details and sense how joy comes. Look at the details. How can it be? Incredible. 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 Keep thinking. Keep thinking, keep thinking, keep walking in your answer, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Begin to give thanks to Him. Your images are risen up like flowers to the Lord the images of victory, thanksgiving, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Anointing, anointing, anointing. Anointing, 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 anointing. Today, there is a clear situation that you were afraid of, and today is the answer, an answer, an answer, an answer. Hallelujah. Be filled with the Holy Spirit now, worshiping God, worshiping God in your hearts. That's how you can be filled with the Holy Spirit, by worshiping Him, by singing to Him, 
singing psalms, lift his name on high, lift his name on high, Holy Spirit, thank you, Holy Spirit, thank you, thank you, lift Jesus' name on high, today grace is working, and it's not deserved by your accomplishments. You can achieve grace. You can only receive it. Receive grace in particular circumstances. Receive grace in a particular situation in your life that you fear. Receive the gift of grace in a particular situation now in your life. Undeserved gift. Undeserved gift. And deserve gift. Ask for the impossible. Just show God with your image. Here is where grace has to be. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Impossible. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, glory to you, my Lord. Oh, glory to you, my Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to you, my God. Glory to you, my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you, my Lord. We worship you, my Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't give food to demons. Don't give food to this fear anymore. Today, power, love, and a sound mind. Oh, the anointing has just come. Hallelujah. Power and anointing have just come. Demons, get out. I kiss you out. Get out. Get out. Go away. Get out. I command the spirit of death to go away now. Get out. In the name of Jesus. The spirit of fear, fear of getting sick, get out now. The spirit of fear, fear of divorce is gone now. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of fear for the children, specifically for the child. I punch you, I bind you, spirit of fear, get out, go away. The spirit of fear of poverty, get out. In the name of Jesus, I bind the spirit of fear, I bind the spirit of fear, I bind the spirit of fear. I bind the spirit of witchcraft right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh my God. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. My God. My God. Demons are leaving you now. Someone started shaking. Someone started vomiting. Somebody has demons coming out through coffin. I see someone fall to their knees and you're coffin right now. Receive freedom. The Holy Spirit is touching you now. Holy Spirit, touch. Touch. By your power. Right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let every yoke be destroyed from the anointing. Let every yoke be destroyed from the anointing. Let every yoke be destroyed from the anointing right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There is no place for devils and demons. There is no place for Lucifer. No place for Satan. There is no place for the spirit of fear. No place. All diseases and infirmities, they just go away with those demons, curses, they controlled you. They are going away now. The power of the Holy Spirit moves. 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 In the name of Jesus, the power of the Holy Spirit moves. Let every yoke be destroyed from the anointed. Dear friends, the spirit of infirmity goes away. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, the anointing is getting stronger and stronger. 
Oh, I see a person who has chronic stress right now by the blood of Jesus. I cast these demons out. Those who attacked you, I'm telling you, devil, get out. And right now the diseases are going away. The ulcer is gone. There was an ulcer on the intestines. It's gone now. The ulcer in the stomach is gone now, right now. Gastritis is gone now. I see this area. Now there is a healing happening there. Healing, healing, healing. The healing of ulcers in the digestive tract. In the name of Jesus. Hemorrhoids disappear now. I see this inflammatory processes in the intestines. It's the wall of intestines inflamed right now. Complete healing, complete healing, complete healing. Right now, the intestinal microflora is healed. Right now, the Holy Spirit touch, touch. Holy Spirit. Touch. 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 Hallelujah. 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 My God. Hallelujah. 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 Take the Holy Spirit. Just give him your hand. Take his hand. Let a miracle happen now. And say, I'm not afraid of anything with you. I'm not afraid of anything with you. Walk me to the fist. Walk me into your glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're giving me a victory. You're giving me triumph. Repeat after me. Right now, diseases are leaving you. Cancer is leaving you. Demons are leaving you. Now cancer cells have disappeared. All these cancer cells are gone now. Tumors have dried up. Cysts are disappearing in different parts of the body. In the head. Also cysts in your ovary are disappearing now. Different parts of the body. Different parts of the body. Hallelujah. Tumors disappearing in the prostate gland. In the name of Jesus. Right now tumor in the intestines is gone. I curse these tumors. I curse cancer cells. I curse you cancer. I curse you the spirit of cancer. I curse cancer. I curse you disease. Get lost once and forever. Get out. Leave the head. Leave the body. Leave the body in the liver now. Leave the body. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, touch. 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 And now the wave of healings have passed. Massive healings. Healing of uterus, cervix, appendages. Infertility is destroyed. Infertility is destroyed now. And you must testify about it. Give a promise to God that you will come with the child and testify about it. Make a covenant with God now. Make a covenant with God now. I destroy infertility in your life in the name of Jesus. No more miscarriages. I'm speaking with somebody else as well. No more miscarriages. No more miscarriages. It will never happen again in the name of Jesus. He says, and the fruitless one gives birth seven times. So oh, the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Holy Spirit. Touch. Touch. Now people in front of TVs are falling down because the power of God is moving. Hallelujah. Wow, what an anointing. Oh, thank you, God. Oh, the fruitless one gives birth seven times. Oh, hallelujah. There is one man who thought he would never be able to walk normally again. And you have crutches and a walking chair and wheelchair. Right now, this moment, receive your healing. Get up and walk. I also see muscle dystrophy. Complete healing of muscle dystrophy. It was the generational curse that went through your family tree. Right now, I break the generational curse of muscle dystrophy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, devil, your end has come. Go away. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 
my god, my god. God bless every summit member. Bless the cloud of witnesses. Bless every witness. We are the witnesses. We are your witnesses. We are witnesses of God's glory. And today, God bless everyone in this preparation for the summit. Let your miracles happen every hour. Let somebody register for the summit every hour. Let one person be registered through you. Let people be joined to the cloud of witnesses every hour. Let people be joined to walk with Christ every hour. You know, that is a big difference, being the person, be, uh, being a summit member, being a cloud of witnesses who listen to all these summit lessons who are in the Bible teachings and the person who goes to church and has lost faith, who has lost trust in God, became a religious person, became like that, became disappointed. But today you can restore trust with God and relationship with Him. Oh, the power has come after I said these words. Now the restoration of trust and relationship with God. And I say that you serve people. God wants to restore trust with them. Bring them to Him. Be those servants from the Bible. It says, go and supper is ready. Go and bring people. Go through the squares and streets and gather them together. Today, this is a call to everyone. My body is under a strong anointing now. Hallelujah. Incredible. When I talk about it, friends, the power of the Holy Spirit comes upon you. The anointing comes upon you in order to save people. The anointing to save unbelievers and even believers. Listen, those people who are in church, they need restoration. Today, those who do not know God, they have to be at the summit. They have to experience the glory of God. And God wants to restore trust. God wants to touch people. And He tells you to go and call those who are called. You're that servant God sends. I have an understanding every hour. People have to be registered to the summit through every, through every summit member, every hour. I'm praying for you now to have this understanding. Oh, Holy Spirit, Alleluia, Alleluia. Oh, my God, Hallelujah. I worship you, my God. Praise you, Lord. I lift your name on high. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The reward summit keeps going on. Our summit is not over. It keeps going on every day. It goes on and on. Every lesson leads to further and further. Healing, miracles, new time with God, new fellowship with God. Today, God puts you into a victory over your fear. Victory over your fear. Victory over your fear. Victory over your fear. Hallelujah, and we move on to this apogee. On July 30th, 31st, August 1st, there will be apogee of glory. When the sacrifice of thanksgiving will be offered, when there will be this apogee of thanksgiving, let your favor be poured out. Your favor, my Lord, massive healings. My Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah. And now you're already performing the greatest, the most beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Dear friends, stay in the anointing all day. You have to remain in this image which you have just created with God where there was fear, it's already victory there. Be filled with these feelings, rejoice, walk in it as it is, consider the details, because everything will happen identically. All this will be duplicated, your images will be projected. Hallelujah! Your images will be projected. Hallelujah. I bless you. And I thank you because you're not indifferent to people. You save people. You register them to the summit thanks to what is happening in line. 
We can save people in different countries. When you have people in some country, you have to reach them for the sake of the Lord. Today you're not a student still. Dedicate yourself to do it. And I know you do it already. I bless you. Let the anointing come upon you to save people, to bring them to Christ, to register them to the summit. Let the anointing be upon you. Let the anointing be upon you. Complete obedience to the word. He said to the widow, Elijah said to go and bring it. Now that you hear this, I tell you, go and register. And when you go, you will be healed. He says, lepers go, show the priest ten lepers. And they went and were cleansed. When you walk by the word, you will be healed. He says to Nehemiah through the servant, go into Jordan River, and when he enters Jordan, he is healed. Today I have a message for you. Go and register people. Register people every hour, like I say to you. Let several people register through you every hour. But you would say it's impossible. But I'm talking about impossible. Yes, it is. That's why you ask God about it. God, please, do this miracle through me. People will say, I have no money, I will not succeed. Let miracle from God happen that people will run to you. Scripture says that they grab them by the clothes to beg you. Tell me about your God. I want to be with your God. They will chase you to get to know your God. Pray now that people will run to you. Pray about it. The scripture has to become reality in your life. So they will grab you by your clothes. Let me get to know your God. That's the power. That's the power. That's the real Bible promise in life. Obedience to the word creates power and miracles. Hallelujah. Oh, let the anointing be upon you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In next lesson, and we'll turn to the next page, it will be something special. God gives you a message every day. There is no day that God wouldn't give you a message. He always has it for you. Listen to this lessons many times. Stay in the prayers many times. And act every hour. People have to get a new life through you, becoming a part of the summit. Hallelujah. 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 I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. Prepare the sacrifice of thanksgiving. I know that you already offered this sacrifice. You already started, but God is leading somewhere. On July 31st, there will be a miracle. God's favor. Your 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 favor. Hallelujah. I bless you. See you next lesson. Go and bring fruit to God. Go. I have sent you. Receive these words as it is from God. You are his servant. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Dear friend, hurry up to get registered to the summit the fourth dimension that will be held from July 30th to August 1st. To register, please call 646-980-6988. Или по ссылке or use в the link in the description.